If you're like me, going on your weekly grocery run can be a drag, but here in College Park, did you know that there's a place you can actually take a break and have some fun? Follow me, it's right around the corner. My trusty sources tell me all of the fun is right through these red curtains. Wow, take a look at this. More than two dozen retro and new pinball machines, and we're just feet away from the bakery department. Joining me is Scott Nash. He's the founder of Mom's Organic Marketplace. You have 19 locations in the DMV, but this is the only one with a pinball room. That's right. Talk about how did you get into pinballs and why pinball machines and at the grocery store? Well, I grew up down the road here, um, sneaking quarters out of my mother's purse and going to a place called the Bells for Billiards, uh, and they had some pinball games there uh, back in like 1978, 79. Um, I got back into it maybe 10 years ago, and I uh, remember how much I absolutely love pinball. Um, and so I just started to collect, and um, I started to put them out for the public use because I wanted to spread the joy of pinball. When I heard about this room, I thought, oh, these are going to be all retro from the 90, late 70s, 80s. But no, some of these are new. Uh, yeah, there are new ones that come out probably two or three times a year now, maybe more. Um, I feel like we're in, like, at peak pinball, like the golden age of pinball right now, actually, because the games that are being made now are just so well engineered. Um, the uh, artwork is great, the callouts are great, the gameplay is great. Um, they're beautiful, they're works of art. And I understand that you actually have pinball tournaments, who knew? Yeah. Oh yeah, believe me, we have pinball tournaments and they're serious. <laughs> uh, every Friday night we have a pinball tournament here. It's fantastic. Um, and then we sometimes have some large tournaments where you get you know quite a few dozen people showing up. Uh, people driving up from uh, North Carolina or Richmond or down from New York. Uh, we take pride here in that we feel like our games are in just fantastic condition. Um, we have a good mix. What is it about pinballs? I know that a lot of people are into video games, for instance, yeah. but th you say there is a real appeal, and it, it does involve some skill. Well, I feel like pinball is this perfect balance between luck and skill, and that's what makes it so much fun. It's kind of like March Madness in a way. Like, anybody can kind of beat anybody, but the good teams usually make it to the Final Four. So it's, this, it's very exciting. Um, uh, pinball because on any night I mean you can go against a state champion and um, and win and where do you get these machines especially the older ones? yeah well the um, it's kind of like a uh, you know an underground marketplace you know <laughs> and, and, hopefully uh, not a black market no, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, yeah I mean there are sellers I mean there are people who have had games in storage or their basement or their grandparents you know uh, for decades and um, they don't know what to do with them. They almost just want somebody to come take them away. Um, you know, but they're out there. What's the reaction from customers who may not realize what's behind the red curtain? Yeah, well, some I think still don't realize. We keep it kind of secret in a way. It's, it's separate. Um, but anyone can come. Anyone can come. Uh, I think people love it. I mean, I don't think anybody hates pinball. Um, you know, the pinball industry pretty much went out of business because of video games. Uh, when you know the game consoles um, started to, to uh, go into people's houses. But you um, say it's making a comeback. Making a huge comeback. It's just fantastic uh, to, be, uh, to get into pinball right now. Very good. Scott Nash, yeah. the founder of Mom's Organic Marketplace. I'm going to play some pinball, but first I have to finish and get, my, get everything off my grocery list. So <laughs> back to you.